Hello, Darian Quasi is here with another YouTube video. I have something brief to say. This is just this is just a brief message. Check up on your mental health. Because if you're like if you're like feeling some type of way, if you're feeling like not loved or anything, you should check up on your mental health. I have a lot to say today. Hold on one second. I'm being serious. I can't find my paper with all of my ideas written on it, but I do have to say, recently I figured out that I'm a badass bitch in a whole nother motherfucking spiritual level. And once the figuring out... <laughs> my lights go off at 10, 50, 35. So, once the figuring out of that, uh, that I'm a badass bitch on a whole different level, I figured out that spiritually, I have to like, let you know that some of my readings were probably just projection. Some of them, maybe all of them. The projections was probably for and from you. And, but no, for real, check up on your mental health. Like for real, check up on your mental health. Okay, a psychiatrist, or talk to someone that you think you can really like have good conversation with about things that you go through on a daily basis because you should never feel down about anything. You should never feel unloved. You should always feel love within and outside of you. And if you don't feel love within and outside of you, then there's a problem. You should get it checked out. And if you feel as if I'm just speaking out of my fucking ass, then maybe I am because I have a really quafty asshole. And yes, that motherfucker does pop severely. <laughs> Let's talk about this shit, okay? Let's talk about American Horror Stories. <laughs> How that girl literally played old girl into thinking that she was into her. But then, how old girl who got live streamed on, literally they seen her vagina and shit, and they figured out that she liked BDSM. She ended up murdering them motherfuckers. All four of them. All four. Maybe that's what I should have did. Para being slow. But probably it's a good thing that I didn't because now it's a concept inside a movie or a TV show. And it's really funny because the girl that did it to me, well, more like the boy that did it to me because it's completely different the second time around because the first time it was all boys. He's living his life. Like, I still know his address. And I know exactly where he lives. And if you want it, you can totally have it. Like, but you probably don't. Because, like, who am I to you? Just know that uh, love is real. And love is love. And don't ever give up on it. And don't ever expect it in a place where you don't get it from don't expect love from somewhere where you don't receive it because if they ultimately can't express their true selves to you or ultimately 24 7 then you're not going to get love from them like you'll get love from me but um but oh girl let's get back to this oh girl manipulated her live streamed her literally did the whole nine and them bitches didn't like you know die from cancer them bitches died from the nights that she had so after that she started seeing ghosts and the ghost basically was like all around the house and shit and as they all around the house they basically start motherfucking popping up the therapist she did but she's still alive too at the same time the parents they did but they're still alive at the same time too and ultimately i'm not done with the series i'm not even done i'm not even done with the first season 
But that's not what I came here to talk about. I came here to talk about mental health. So, even though they got a therapist inside the TV show, that should be a sign to you that you should get a therapist in real fucking life. Because your mental health matters. Just like Black Lives Matter and Black Trans Lives Matter and Trans Lives Matter and all. Of my ass has popped severely. <laughs> yeah, I love all the children of the world, but I will not give up on my motherfucking concept of who I am. I probably didn't say that right, but so be it. And I won't give up on my movement. So you shouldn't either. So look at my fucking abstract fucking art. Laugh at it if you want to. But guess what, bitch? I'm making a statement. You a hating ass hoe. You're breasting. You should go brush your teeth. Anyways, check up on your mental health because I love you. I really do. That's why I keep telling you to check up on your mental health. Like, I wish I could say it to you, but I don't know you. And be there for your family the best way that you can. Br bring yourself up the best way that you can. And try your best to motherfucking not allow the motherfucking negativities to ever get back to you. Because you are a badass bitch. I fucking love you for who you are. Because you do you. And I love that about you. And all of these girls, they can learn some things now from you. People be like, where's the love? I be like, bitch, it's right here. All you got to do is manifest it. All you got to do is yearn for it. That's all you got to do. That's why I yearn for happiness. Because it's all in love. Love is happiness. Happiness is love. But anyways, check up on your mental health. Check up on that mental health. Little daddy, papito. Check up on that mental health. I'll come to your job and ride you in your office. I'm just fine. Okay. I'm sorry. That was a horrorish thing for me to do. But maybe that's exactly what I am. A horrorish thing to do. <laughs> I got a stalker, you guys. I got a stalker, you guys. So... I was like literally doing my own damn thing, living my best life. And he decided to dip, but now he want to chip because another boy has noticed me. He up on me and shit, but I don't pay him no attention. And then he crying his tears for like three damn years, but he's still acting like I can't be mad at him. But he know he can't be mad at me because he like it, but he didn't put a fucking ring on it. And that's the thing about it. I like it, and I put a fucking ring on it, bitch. <laughs> but no, like, for real, I really think that I have a soccer. So, I'm about to, like, spill the tea. So, um, I bought this, like, game from this place, and... I think I got sold, like, a, a faulty game, like, a faulty system. Like, that's what my best friend enlightened me to see, that I bought a faulty system. Because I thought, personally, that a motherfucker hacks my shit and shit. But, like, that's not the case because I didn't download anything from the browser or anything of that sort. And I don't have a USB or anything. But, like, at the same time, it could be, like, a, you know, a false narrative. But I'm not sure because I'm not that tech-savvy. I don't necessarily like put the effort into trying to ruin anybody else's time or anything like that. Like, I literally don't do those things. But anyways, I need to call somebody. No, get over here, come here. I don't know who the fuck you crying to. My dog really be trying to portray me. Like he be like, he really be trying to, trying to betray me. And that shit be pissing me off. Like, ain't nobody asks you. Ain't nobody asks you. Ain't nobody asks you. Ain't nobody asks you. Gosh. But anyways, get off of my computer. Anyways. But no, I got a stalker. So here's the story. Disclaimer, the story is totally fabricated because my stalker is always watching me. So I was going home one day and everything was chill. I was driving and my car was like moving and stuff. And this dude, like, he was, like, really hot, too. And I looked to my left, and I looked to my right, and nobody else was around but me and him. So I keep walking right past him. And 
the motherfucker basically like he kind of like because I have my headphones in too let's not forget this he kind of like steps in front of me and was like saying some shit that I have no idea of what the fuck he was saying so I take my headphone out and he was like something 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 Tobler and I'm like what are you talking about bitch like what Cause like that ended up being like the food that I was eating. I was eating a Toblerone, and I'm like, "What? But you want some Toblerone? Like what? Like what? You want some Toblerone?" And he was like, "Nah, but like Brandon Tobler, da 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 da, blase blase." And I'm just like, I said nothing to him. I kept walking. Because I just didn't want him to motherfucking, like, know that I knew that I know my own motherfucking name. Like, you know, like, I've literally played that shit off to the T. Like, I was just like... That's not what we do. That right, gets you beat. If anything, I was pretending to be a fucking, uh, a, a twin from, like, I don't know, just totally somewhere else. And it's funny because, like, he he kept, like, following me after that. And I didn't walk home. I ended up just walking all the way to like Quick Trip and just sitting at Quick Trip for like just just a long distance of time. And as I'm sitting at Quick Trip, like he's just like he's still there. He's still walking around places and shit. Like still like in my vicinity of sight. And I'm just like I'm talking to the clerk. I'm like, man, man he fucking following me and shit. I don't fucking like it. Like, I'm scared to go home. And so I asked the clerk to take me home. And the clerk, he's like, okay, I get off at like 11. Like, I'll take you home. So I'm like, okay, thank you. Like, <laughs> so fucking fine. I'm gonna give you the clock clock 3000 just for this because you're saving my life. So he ends up taking me home. And as I get to my house, like, I'm like, Thank you so much. And I hurry up and run the fuck out the car because I didn't give him the Glock Glock 3000. It didn't happen. So, um, I get in the house and I turn on my TV and I sit down all day down and I start to watch American Horror Stories. So as I'm watching American Horror Stories, I hear a knock on my window. And lo and behold, I turn that fucking TV off. I didn't look out that window. I pretended as if I was like, literally like still in that bed, like still in the motherfucking bed, like still. Like, like it was like basically like, I literally pretended as if it was like my TV going off on the timer. Cause it took him a while to get to my place, right? Cause like, Quick Trip is like not far, far away from my place, but it's not really close. And it will take a time for him to get to my place, so. I basically, I basically pretend as if I was asleep and my phone, my fucking TV was on like a sleeper timer mode and I just acted like I was asleep as fuck and just, just didn't, didn't do shit. And he just kept knocking cause like where I sleep at, it's like, I'm on like the lowest level that you can be on. And the motherfucker was just at my window. Like, he was at my window. Like, he was literally at my fucking window. Like, you can't see my window. I was trying to make you see my window. I was trying to help you see my window. But, no. Like, can't help you see my fucking window. So, he was at my fucking window. And, like, I just, I just lay, I just lay there. And I said nothing. Comes to find out, he was trying to contact me about my car's extended warranty. And it's like bizarre as fuck because I did not expect for me to even have a car. And I do because why was I walking, right? Because I had an extended warranty and my car broke down. So, yeah. Um, the thing about it is like, don't buy used cars. 
and don't trust anybody just a random on the fucking street like i don't give a fuck if you've been trying to contact me about my car's extended fucking warranty if anything stay away from me especially if you come to my fucking humble abode talking about you've been trying to contact me about my fucking car's extended fucking warranty bitch you're crazy you're crazy okay because i don't understand i don't understand why would you sell me a car with a void warranty why would you make me pay, make payments on a car with a void warranty? Why would you do that? You deserve to get sued. Dead ass. You really deserve to get sued. And I would sue you if I was the one who actually did this. So, um, <laughs> take the hint. So, um, yeah, that's it for the rest of this video. Um, <laughs> I hope you love this video <laughs> of this week, um, this month this week um please 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 consider following my other you know platforms at my twitter i really get down and dirty with the motherfucking conveyance and on my tiktok i'm telling you i'm getting better at this i'm getting real better at this and yeah um on my tiktok i just used to do a whole bunch of random shit Please watch it with discretion because I was kind of projecting on a lot of it. Like, I really need to go back and just watch all of it now that I'm clearer in the mind and just really see the difference. Because if you really haven't noticed, and the reason why I keep telling y'all to, like, check up on your mental health is because, like, I really be seeing a lot of me and a lot of other people. And we should all either look into it or work together on helping ourselves because it would be nice to have some people to support and um i get support from but anyways when you do decide to take care of your mental health i advise you to share the care through cerebral this is where you should go because the medication that they give you does not make you be addicted to it. So I personally, without sponsorship, recommend Cerebral. Um, yeah, like. If you already have a mental health care provider, comment down below what your mental health care provider is and how well they work. Have a beautiful day. Stay stunning. Um, I love that you watched this video all the way through and I'm sorry that I lied to you a little bit, but like, I didn't have an idea for it. Well, I had a lot of ideas. I have a lot of ideas. I actually had like made three videos and two of them was one hour and then another one was like two hours and I don't want to edit that on phone because it's just not the same. Like I have to like sit back and let it extract and then all my storage is gonna be going on my phone. And then like, I should just really just invest in what the fuck I need to invest in. So yeah, simple as that. Um, I hope that you have a beautiful, beautiful day tomorrow or today or next week, whatever. <laughs> yeah, stay sunny. I'm surprised that I actually did this whole video with my hair out. Because some people be like, my hair is ugly. But I be like, your personality ugly, so. <laughs> um, yeah, bye.